Seven days after my son was born, I found out my behalf of two plus years was cheating. Story 1. Seven days after IF29 had my son. It came out my BFM 31 of more than two years has been talking to many women online and changing pics in, paying for sugar babies our whole relationship in August. He started to that I know of very intimate relationships where they even talked about me and my pregnancy. One of the women he ended up sleeping with twice while I was pregnant with our son. He did that to me. He even sent her a pic of our son the night he was born. In docking devastated and broken. Nothing feels real. The only reason I can function is for my son. Uh, he broke it off with this person and the others he was talking to. And deleted all the avenues of contact. He claims he has a PR in addiction and that's why he habitually talks to women on dating sites. And it makes him feel good and more confident to pay these women to talk with him and send him pictures and videos. He says this one woman is the only woman has slept with and he wishes he could take it back, has going to go to therapy and wants to stay together. I told him he needs to tell his mother what he's done today. I want her to know I'm not cracking because of PPD. It's because of this because of him. This man was my rock. I was looking at him in awe of how amazing he was, how much he loved me and our son, and how he was taking such great care of us. My whole world has been shattered. Everything about carrying and giving birth to my first and only child has been tainted by the cheating, the realization that I was actually alone for this whole process. This man was giving the best parts of himself away to another woman while I struggled mentally and emotionally to carry his kid for nine months. And I praised him like he was the best most attentive partner ever. The way he looked at me with so much love in his eyes and held me while I was giving birth, it means nothing now because he turned right around and sent the other woman and picture of my ducking son and talked about when feed meet up next. He says shortly after our son was born was when he knew he needed to stop because he wanted to be with me he says has been doing acid like this since before we got together. And it's not because of me, it's because he feels lonely and not worthy, and has been struggling with it for a long time. Not a new mommy would already be gone, but this meter day doesn't know what to do. I love him so much, but I dk how I could overcome this without touching all my self-respect. I dk how I could let the messages and pictures go from my head. How would I ever trust him again? He's removed all the locks and codes from his phone and computer and shares passwords and his location with me now. But I don't want to be that person I don't want to feel ducking crazy. This is the worst I've ever felt in my life. I can't believe my best friend did this to me. I can't believe him struggling through being a new mom and dealing with the betrayal of his father. I just got my family and it's destroyed. TLVR, my boyfriend's claims his PR in addiction led to him having s time with another woman while I was 8-9 months pregnant. Redditors reactions read it to 1, RPRN and best time addiction, the new go-to excuse for cheaters nowadays, top with all due respect. This man has proved with his actions that he does not love or respect you. He had been doing this your entire relationship, he knew he had a problem, but instead of seeking help therapy. He continued to betray you. He left you pregnant and vulnerable to go fill his needs with someone else. Do not let this disrespect go up. Remind yourself that his immediate thought after the birth was to send a picture of your son to the app. Proves to you where his priorities lie. I know you're feeling emotional and vulnerable. And of course, you love him. But think about what the pre-pregnancy you would have done in this case. If he cares for you and your son, then he will agree to co-parent peacefully. If not... Do you really want someone who won't put you guys first as your partner and the father of your child? Read it to two. I'm sorry you're here, and I'm sorry he was so selfish. You and your baby deserve better. Ready to three. Hess full of a set. If you stay your life, we'll be unhappy. I can tell you that with 100% certainty, you will never be able to trust him. He does not respect you. Has still lying to you. How did that make sense to you? After you gave birth. Then he realized yet he sent a pic of your child to the whore he was cheating with and asking when he can hit again. Does that sound like someone who felt any kind of bad on what he was doing? Actions speak louder than his words. Yes, has unlocking all his devices in the guise that has been completely open, but yet he continues to lie to you how does that add up? You don't love him, you love a version of him, that is a lie. You don't know the real him, but are seeing it now. 
you don't ignore the real him because you all have a kid together. If he had money to be paying these prostitutes, you can call them sugar babies but let's stop and be real. They are prostitutes. Then he can pay you child support and more. Do not stay with this person. He does not respect you. He does not care about you. His love is fake and has a whole lie. It's just sad that you didn't acknowledge the red flags before getting pregnant. Now, your son has to have arrested father who disrespects his mom. Look, it's up to you what you do from here. But as someone who stayed for the kids, it won't end well for you. He won't stop, has been doing it your whole relationship. Once someone is okay with disrespecting you, it won't stop. There is no point in wasting any more of your time and energy. Stop trying to see the person you think he could be and start seeing the person he actually is. His addiction to PRN isn't why he cheated. He cheated because he wanted to he said as much when he sent your child's pic to his W or an ask to see her be strong for your child. He asked the person you thought he was, has not a good role model for your son. How sad is that he knew he had a kid coming and still spent money that could be for your child on W was. See him for who he really is not what you want to believe. Good luck and please choose you and your child. Let him go. Story 2 I tried to post this the other day, but the act was too new, so I might need to add an edit for updated news. I'm ASAHD because of a medical condition. I am 34 have been married to my wife at 33 for 7 years with a son 6. He will be starting school soon. My wife and I have had a nice life together. We have s time 1 to 2 times a week, sometimes more depending. If my affliction is acting up, it was decided I would be your SAHD when I started to miss work when my health issues started about 3 years ago. So here is a reason for the title. My wife is traveling for work. She does not travel much, but does on rare occasion. This travel is planned as she has a conference and is going to have meetings at another of her company's location for training purposes. So she was packing her suitcase, she had it opened on our bed putting her things in. I was helping using a mental checklist, we were checking off the list, so she did not forget anything. Last minute, I said that I did the laundry and her PJs were clean in the laundry room. She went off to get them. In the meantime, I thought I would slip a love note from myself and one from our son into the bottom of suitcase telling her how much we love her and will miss her. As I pulled up the clothes, I noticed the bottom layer is a set of lingerie I have never seen. She usually does not wear injury. I'm beyond hurt. I slip the notes in when I hear her coming back. My mind is going a 100 miles per hour. My worst fear is happening because of my affliction. I have felt less than a man and that she would leave me. I stay silent. We go to bed. We have as time. She could tell that I was off. I just said my health issue was the problem. This has been the case in the past. We go to sleep. The next day I take her to work. She was taking an afternoon flight. So we drove her to work. Then we came back later and drove her to the airport. During the day, my stomach in knots. I was going to pull the luxury out of the suitcase. That really would not stop her from cheating. So I went to the store and bought a box of seam doms. I put them on top of the luxury with a no for her not to bring me anything home. So she has been gone two nights. We talked the first night after she arrived. The next night, she called at my son's bedtime. I have a special ringtone for her. So when her call came in, I was reading to my son who was in bed. I gave him the phone to answer. She talked with him a few minutes to wish him good night. He then handed me the phone she had disconnected. I guess she found my notes. Edit. The luxury is a type you would wear to bed, not a bra and panty set. So now I have to wait. She comes home Friday afternoon. I have already called my parents asking if they are up for a visit this weekend.